I'm Madison, and this is Dubai Skies. So I'm a huge Percy Jackson fan. I've been rereading the series and I've really gotten into it, and so I've been on a search for merch. I really, really, really want an Annabeth Chase Camp Half-Blood necklace. However, the only one that I have been able to find that's complete is definitely not in my budget. So I found a DIY alternative. I got a hundred of these off of Amazon for about nine dollars and it even came with a little bit of string. So my goal is to be able to DIY my own Annabeth Chase necklace. However, I am not an artistic person. I haven't taken art class since elementary school. So, this might turn out not great. And so the challenge today is, is that Annabeth Chase necklace online worth my money? We'll find out. <laughs> so you might be asking, what do you need? I already showed you the beads I bought. So you'll need beads, string, I used acrylic paint, and I also had a cup of water to rinse off my brushes. I recommend really, really small brushes. I thought I had some really small, narrow brushes, but that didn't work well. If you have paint pens, that's probably gonna be the best way to do the small designs, but I used what I had. I also discovered while I was painting, if I held the bead in my hand, the paint rubbed off on my hand and didn't stay on the bead. So I got toothpicks and some tape and taped them together to do that. And then I also taped down the beads so they didn't roll when I painted the more detailed portion of it. First things first, you need to find a space that you can set up that doesn't matter if you get paint everywhere or what. I'm a messy person so I set up on my back porch outside and I even put a tarp down. So then I went through and I painted the background of each bead and then I went back and did a second coat of that. I painted the first bead a white mixed with a yellow. I've normally seen this bead painted white, but in the book it was yellow, so I stuck with this like very white based yellow. The second bead is, I normally see it painted with a pink background. However, in the illustration book, it had a blue background and I prefer blue over pink, so I did a blue background. The third bead was purple. I don't know what it normally would be, but in the book it was purple, so that's what I stuck with. In the book, the fourth bead was green, and the fourth bead in the illustrated book didn't look like any of the other fourth beads I saw, but due to the fact that it was in the book, I decided to take it as canon. But you can kind of do whatever you want on these next two beads, because they are never described in the book, so nothing is official. Honestly, when they come back and make the live action Disney Plus series, I might need to come back and redo these two beads. The fifth bead was orange. This is another one that isn't canon, so you can kind of do whatever you want. Next, we start the beads that follow when Percy starts coming to camp. So if you were doing a Percy necklace, this is where you would start. But if you want to finish out Annabeth's necklace, you can also use these beads because she was there too. So in the book, the first bead was described as black, next bead, which would go for the Sea of Monsters, I've seen it with either a white or green background, but since my necklace was already very colorful, I decided to go with a lighter green than the other green one that I used, so that way it's different. There isn't a bead for the Titan's Curse due to the fact that it took place during winter break, so if you're looking for that bead, you can go ahead and paint one if you want just to represent all of the books, but they wouldn't have had a bead for that summer due to the fact that it was winter break. So that brings us to the Battle of the Labyrinth. This bead I have seen silver and um, I've also seen it with a red background. I decided to go with red because I wanted to use silver for my next bead and I didn't want two silvers right next to each other. Then our last bead is for the Battle of Olympus, which I saw with an orange background and I also saw with a silver background. So I decided to go with silver because I thought it would stand out better and I already had an orange bead, so that's why I did silver. After I let my beads dry, I went back through and I decided to paint the designs for each bead. So for Annabeth's necklace, we know that it started with her first summer 
which was the bead of Thalia's pine tree. One of the other beads that gets described is a centaur and a prom dress. And so I've seen it as either the third bead or the second bead in the illustrated book. It is the second bead, which is why I've placed it here. So I painted uh, my best interpretation of a centaur and a prom dress. I am not an artistic person, so it is not good. I don't rem I can't think of how it's written in the book. I think it's a trowel on fire, a Greek trowel on fire, which in all of the pictures it's a ship on fire. Um, so that's exactly what I painted was a ship on fire. Again, this could go in the second place or the third place. These first three beads are the ones that Annabeth describes to Percy before he rudely interrupts her. These last two beads on Annabeth's necklace are not canon, but I decided to follow what was in the illustrated version of The Lightning Thief just because I felt like it was more canon than some random thing I found online, but you can really do whatever you want for these last two beads. The next bead in the illustrated version is a blue, it's an eye and it's a blue eye, so it's that's what I did here, I just painted an eye that's blue. And last is a white pegasus, so it's like the Camp Half-Blood logo. I know my painting does not look like the Camp Half-Blood pegasus, but again, like I said before, these last two beads might get changed when we see this in the Disney Plus adaptation. And so who knows, I might come back and show you how to do those. Now we are entering into where the books pick up. So if you are doing Percy's necklace, this is where you would pick up here. We know from the first summer that it is a black bead with a sea green trident. And so that is what I tried to do here. I know it kind of looks like a cactus, but I did my best. This next bead is for the Sea of Monsters. So it is the golden fleece. Um, some people paint it hanging from the tree branches of Thalia's tree. I didn't trust myself that artistically, so I just decided to paint a um, golden fleece. And I kind of messed up, so on the other side I decided to paint a ram, and then I went back on to the first side and tried to fix it, and it was a mess. It's kind of a weird looking bead, I know. We are on to the Battle of the Labyrinth, which is a maze. I started off trying to paint it in blue because when the bead was painted silver, I saw a lot of people do like a deep blue, and I thought it would be fun. However, I didn't like the way that the blue looked on the red, so I went ahead and started painting it in black. And then I discovered that I am not, I don't have small enough brushes to do the detail work, so I went ahead and got a Sharpie. The Empire State Building. So I did my best here to draw the Empire State Building with windows lit. And then in the book, it talks about how each person who fell in that battle was name was written in Greek. I'm not super great at Greek. I was in a sorority in college, so what I did was I wrote the sororities and fraternities from my school. I wrote a few of them around the, um, the bead so that there was Greek writing around it, but you can do whatever you want. So I know at first Annabeth has her dad's ring on it, however I didn't have a ring to put on it. If you have one, you can. If you can find, find one online, go ahead and do that. But this is what my necklace looks like. Thank you so much for getting this far. I hope it was very helpful making an Annabeth necklace. Anyway, if you enjoy Percy Jackson content, we have a whole playlist right here. If you don't like Percy Jackson content, I'm impressed you made it this far in the video, but we do have other content on this channel as well. And if you like what we're doing here, you can go ahead and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, you can let us know by hitting the like button below. Comment how your Camp Half-Blood necklace turned out, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!